This was a request from a black person because they kept telling me, Lamont, you know, a lot of black people don't want a Tesla. And I said, why not? Because they would rather get something for the same amount of money. They'd rather go get a BMW or Mercedes, blah, blah, blah. And I said, are they making this decision because of the financial aspect? The tech? Now, what, why are they making the decision? And I was told because they just want to floss. They don't understand everything that Tesla has to offer. So I've got a video to try to educate my people. Take a look at this so that you can understand the financing that goes behind Tesla along with the luxury features it gets as well. For perspective, we will pit the Model 3 head to head with a comparably equipped Honda Civic and a BMW 330i, all at MSRP. Initial cost. On the low end, we have the Honda, which will cost 26.7, and on the high end, the Beamer will set you back nearly 44.9. The Tesla lands right in the middle at 35,000, or if you're lucky, 27,500 after tax credit. We bought our Civic for 26.7, and after five years, it's lost 51% of its value and is now worth 13.1. The Civic has cost us nearly $7,500 in fuel and $3,700 in maintenance. Once we sold it for its residual value, we are left with nearly $1,900. So our Civic has cost us nearly $25,000 to operate for five years or $5,000 a year. The BMW 330i we bought for $44,900 has depreciated in value by a whopping 63%, leaving a value of $16,600. Ouch. The BMW was also the most expensive in terms of fuel at nearly $11,000 and maintenance of $6,500. So if we sold our BMW, we would still be in the hole $800, meaning the total cost of owning it would be nearly $46,000 for five years or about $9,000 per year. Last but not least, let's see how our Model 3 fared. It cost us $35,000 up front and has depreciated by a projected 57%, leaving us with a residual value of $15,000. The Model 3 was the cheapest in terms of fuel, requiring only $3,700 of kilowatt hours and had the second cheapest maintenance cost over the first five years at $4,500. Now, if we sell our Model 3, we're left with about $6,700, bringing the total cost of ownership to $28,000 or $5,600 per year. Now this doesn't include the federal tax credit, which if factored in would mean the Model 3 is the most affordable car over five years at only $21,000 or $4,100 per year, cheaper even than the Civic. So why did we choose the Honda Civic? Because it represents a very practical, financially responsible choice for many buyers and a Tesla by comparison would surely not seem to offer much competition. But when you really break down the numbers, it's shocking to see how close the Tesla and the Honda were in terms of TCO and how much more the BMW 330i was. When comparing the Model 3 to the 330i, which competes more directly in terms of performance, luxury, and features, it's not even close. The Model 3 appears to provide quite the compelling value and seems to live up to its promise and hype. If you Hmm. Now, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, this video was done before the self-driving feature was added. This is a two-year-old video. When I got mine, they had the full self-driving, which Elon has come out and said is an appreciating asset. When they first had it, it started out $2,000. Now it's $8,000. Jeez. He didn't, he didn't mention the car does that. I can only tell you the feeling I get when I get in my car I hit a button and I just take my hands and foot off the steering wheel. It does everything for you. Switches lanes, looks for cars, slows down, does all that. That's a luxury feature that you're not going to get with anyone else. Definitely not for $35,000. Then if you run a business or if you are someone who has a side hustle, you get to take something called a double depreciation. Even though the car is 35 grand at the base, you get to deduct about 20 some odd thousand dollars from your taxes because they consider it a luxury vehicle. Once you add that in, which he didn't add in, that brings the, the total down a little cheaper. Next, when you walk to your car, you don't have to have a key. The car unlocks via the app on your phone or you get this little credit card looking thingy. But once you sync it to your phone, the car unlocks for you when you walk by it via Bluetooth. Or you can put a ring on your finger and unlock the car. Next, married to your car. next, you can use the app 
if you're in a tight space, you're not in the car, someone parked so close that it's this close to your door, you can't get in there. You can just use a button on the app and have the car back out, come pick you up from the curb. All that, you get on the $35,000 Tesla. Next, no gas. <laughs> Depend upon where you live at, in North Carolina, we pay 13 cents a kilowatt. You get a long ways with that. Next, wow. on top of that, the car is virtually one pedal driving, meaning that with the gas pedal, it breaks when you take your foot off the gas to bring that rotary energy and put it back into the battery. So if you know, learn how to drive it properly, most of the time, you don't even have to use the brake. Next, on top of that, the car goes from zero to 60 in four seconds, and that's the $35 base model. People, if this is about a financial decision, which I know it's not for you ones that was out there um, having all these questions and making up all this bull job, for y'all, it's really about the name. If it's a financial decision, there's nothing better than this. There is literally no maintenance cost. There's no oil changes. The only thing you've got to do is put windshield fluid in the car every like 50,000 miles. Go get your tires rotated and checked. You're out the door and you're gone. Larry, where am I going wrong? Nowhere, really. I mean, I've been I've been eyeballing one, too, because, you know, I like them. But I, I mean, unfortunately, I bought a car about four years ago or so, and I just haven't had a good reason to try and get a new one because my car still is just running fine with no issues. So, um, but yeah, it seems, I mean, when you look at, when you look at the breakdown of the cost, it's, it makes perfect sense. And for most people nowadays, because most people live in not urban areas, but, but densely populated areas, either they live in a city or they live in a suburb. And so there's charging stations everywhere. Now mm -hmm. for people who don't, if you happen to live in a, in a rural area, and the only charging station you may have is at your home, and then you might have a little bit more ch of a challenging time if you if you need to charge up on the you know while you're out and about. But you know, I mean, I think for most people, if you're looking for a new car, and the thing is, I think oftentimes, and I know I have thought this way about it too before. I've thought like, ah, if I want to take a long road trip, it's going to be a pain in the butt. I can't just simply pull over and fill up right mm -hmm. quick. That's not really the case so much anymore, and also. They, they've done studies that show most people when they drive their cars, they only go like 35 miles from their home anyways on average. So it's not like there's going to be a whole bunch of times where all of a sudden you need to go pull some long haul trip. And, <laughs> you know, and I can tell you for me, when I'm driving on a road trip, oftentimes, you know, I mean, I don't know how long it takes to charge one of these things up, but oftentimes I'll stop at a gas station and we may spend, you know, 25 30 minutes there because you've been in the car for a while you're cooped up you want to go inside you want to go to the bathroom you want to go look around the store a little bit just to shake your legs or walk around or get something to eat you know so you spend a little time before you get back in the car anyways all this could be time charging up your car you know i can break that down for you too so um when when i got my tesla's a model three the first road trip that we took was up there to larry from North Carolina, Greensboro <laughs> area to Washington, D.C. Now, for, for a little bit more context, I have the very basic Model 3. I don't have the dual motor. I've got the smallest battery. I've got a 50-kilowatt battery, which equals 250 miles. That's and let's what I be have. Real, there's no such thing as a basic Tesla, so we'll right, just go right. ahead and throw that in. Honestly, <laughs> honestly it's, it's not. I mean, and that's why I got the cheapest model, the only thing that I paid the cost to get in that car was self-driving. Mm. Other than that, um, I didn't really care for anything faster because four seconds, zero to 60, is pretty much fast as a Camaro or anything else out there. That, I mean, I didn't care about that. You know, yeah. I'm a dad now. That's what I am. That's all <laughs> I need. I'm a dad now. So we wanted to do this road trip to really see, is it a hindrance to have to stop and wait and how long it was take? So what Tesla does is, inside the car and the, your dashboard is literally a giant iPad that is touch based. Everything's on that, that giant iPad that you touch. It has a map feature that you hit and it tells you where your stop would have to be at along your route. And to mm. get from here to DC, 
and my car was two stops that lasted 15 minutes a piece. That was it. Huh. That was that it. Three nights. Nice. That was it. And to this day, I put 20,000 miles on the car. Anytime some redneck pulls up beside me in his high dollar Camaro, his high dollar <laughs> um, Z20, whatever, I just look at him, I smile, and I floor it, and he's behind me. And this is the base model, ladies and gentlemen. I can't stress enough. This is the base model. See, what my wife don't know is the car is basically about paid off. And um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give her this one because it's such a safe car, too. It's very safe for the children. For the ch I'm doing this for the children. Then I'm going <laughs> to upgrade and get the Roadster that gets 0 to 60 in 1.8 seconds. Because that's for the Ooh. children, too. Because it's a science Damn. project. It's a science project. Yeah, be project. careful in that. Be careful in that. That's woo. That's that. That's a little rocket ship. Hey man, I'm coming. We're gonna go to the track up your way. Me and you, we're gonna put some um, GoPros on the side of the car, and we're gonna oh, yeah. race some folks. That's I what like we're gonna that. do. We're like gonna race idea. some folks. I got a <laughs> helmet and everything. Let me ask you, what is like if yeah. you were to upgrade the the batteries? What is the what's like the max uh, distance or max range you can get on one of their uh, vehicles now? Um, three, three, 350, 350 miles. Yeah. Okay. But of course, of course that changes based on how fast you drive, weather conditions, are you using the AC and all that. But right. you, and they do have a, a switch in the car on the touchscreen that you can see your driving pattern, how much energy you're burning with your driving pattern. But okay. literally before you leave your house, you just put where you're going. Because literally, before I left home, when we came to D.C., I typed yeah. in where we was going, and it showed me it showed me the route of where I needed to stop and how long it was going to take to get me to the next route. It's, huh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the wave of the future. You save so much money not having to be prisoner to gas. And just depend upon what state you live in, if you understand what your kilowatt energy usage is per your home, it's just honestly a no-brainer. And because of the self-driving technology, you have an appreciating asset in the car that gains money and not loses it. That's pretty impressive, yeah. Well, I'm going to have to see if I can uh, talk the wife into getting one sometime soon, maybe. We'll see. Hey, man. We'll see. We're still talking about buying a house, so we, you know, we'll have to, we may have to curb that for a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get the house first, my brother. Get the house first. And then, um, you know, because by then they, you know, Tesla just came out with their second SUV that is actually cheaper than the Model 3. Really? <laughs> it's basically an SUV version of the Model 3, but it's hmm. a little cheaper. OK. Yeah. So and then, you know, they're coming out with the truck. They had to push the truck back to 2022. They had the to push cyber the truck. truck. Back. Yep. And then the Roadster. And then they've got a... um a Tesla semi truck that's all electric that's coming out too. So man, the sky's. I saw that. I saw they did. Elon just did a video, I think, with with uh, with Jay Leno or something with that truck, didn't he? That was a cyber truck. Yes, not not the semi. He's got a semi truck to pull that you can haul stuff with eighteen wheelers. No, I thought I saw one with with him and uh and the and the um cyber the, truck uh, semi. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe yeah. maybe they did a second video or something. Okay, he might have done. Let me shout out. Lord, how mercy. I'm about to kill this name. Lucky Lalama. Lucky Lalama. Thank you. Thank you. And in terms of the energy bill, no, it's not bad at all. And I guess I guess it's not bad for me because I have solar on my home. But ah. even even before I got the Tesla, I kept a record of how cheap my bill was. And even getting the Tesla, my bill hasn't gone up at all. Hasn't gone up at all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's going down a little bit. Um, wow. and, and technically, I drive every day probably about a total of 60 miles a day in total. Yeah. And then we've got a second car that's charging. My wife has a Chevy Volt. So huh. um, you, you can't beat it. You literally can't beat it. That's pretty nice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I think we missed a super chat earlier. I think uh, I think Buzz I hit him. us up earlier. I mentioned him. I mentioned okay. him. And Ilama, we might have to put you in that Hall of Fame. You stick around enough days. See, 
Let me let, let us shout out the Hall of Famers again. Me and Larry, we, we, we're thankful to you guys. This is your Super Chat Hall of Fame. T Streams, Buzz, Teresa, DVD King, Howard, and Mike Willie. We wouldn't be able to be on this show untamed, unabridged, and off the rocker if it wasn't for you guys because YouTube definitely demonetized these videos. We're so thankful. We want you guys to stick with us. Join both of our YouTube channels and subscribe and turn on the notifications. Yo, Larry, you might have to do that. Uh, you might have to do that Hall of Fame graphic again so you can put Buzz with his seven hundred three. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Buzz, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to induct you. I'm gonna have to induct you, Buzz, with the seven hundred three, man. I'm gonna have to yeah, induct man. you with seven hundred three. I love it. every time I see that pop up. I'm like, there it is. There it is. I love the seven hundred three. And Copeland <laughs> Studio asked. Is there a Tesla app that shows you? Yes, there is. There are a bunch of them, man. Um, golly. And if you wouldn't have asked me, I would have been able to tell you, but there is uh there's a bunch of them. Just Google maps that show Tesla charging stations. There's a bunch of them out there. Um, a better rate finder is one of them. I don't mm. use them um because literally you just get in the car and you type in Tesla charging stations, and no matter where you're at in the United States. They're the button to tell you how far you are from a Tesla charging station. So, I mean, you That's can use cool. the app if you want to, but you don't have to. When's Tesla going to come out with a motorcycle? That they're, they're, That's on the table. Not only a motorcycle, but they're going to come out with an um, uh, ATV first. Oh, wow. Okay. And the, the ATV is something you can buy as a supplement with the Cybertruck. Okay. Now I'm think I'm debating about that damn cyber truck, man, because it's bulletproof. And when you let the um the hatch down, uh-huh. it's a ramp. It's a ramp so you can walk onto the back of the truck. And you can cut, and there's a glass that comes across the top of the back of the truck, too. So if you got stuff in there you don't want to get wet, you hit a button, it drops down. And Yo, and that, that truck, truck, what's that truck running? Um, the cheapest one you can get is 65 grand, but dude. It gets zero to sixty in three seconds. <laughs> is it? Is it four? It, well, it's electric, so I guess it's no. I guess it still would need to be four wheel drive, though. You know, it doesn't have. I, mean, to I don't be. know if it is or not, but I'm just thinking it's still. You know, you still need the drivetrain to be on all four wheels if you're if you're using it off road. It it they do have one that's going to have all four wheels turning, but all of them are not going to be that way. Okay. Yeah. The the one that's got all four wheels turning. That one is, I think that one does, that's the one that does zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds. Okay. You know, I, I, crazy. Don't, I don't think I'm going to need that, you know, if I decide that's to get crazy. drugs or anything like that, I'm not going to need that. But, he, <laughs> you know, uh, but it's definitely not, I, I wanted to do this video so that I could try to empower those that didn't know, but also to understand it's not as expensive as people think. 35 grand is not that bad. I mean, the average car cost in America is $38,000. Yeah. And if you're going to pay that money, get something that's going to have great lasting value. And I didn't even mention that they send you updates to the car over the internet. Hmm. Yeah, man. It's it's the wave of the future, man. It's the wave of the future. So now what is the supercharging cost? Well... Here's the deal. I got in when they let you get the supercharging for free. So I still got free supercharging for two years. But if you're coming in and you, you're not going to be able to get that program anymore, the supercharging is about somewhere like 10 cents per kilowatt. Okay. And remember, I said my battery is a 50, it's a 50 kilowatt battery. So you okay. can kind of do the math on that one. So like five dollars to fill up. Basically. I mean, it's just a no-brainer, man. It's just, and now they're coming out with a third-generation supercharger that can really get you close to ten minutes from almost empty to full wow. in my car, in my battery. You know, so it, it, he's really trying to get it where it's a ten-minute, where it's a ten-minute um, fill-up, and then you keep it moving. So when you go to fill up, is there, is there something that you have to do at the at the charging st- station to to recognize your vehicle? Or, does, or when you just put the, the charger connect to your vehicle, does it automatically recognize your vehicle and your account and just automatically take care of everything? How does that work? 
automatically recognizes your vehicle and account. All you do, wow. pull the thing down, click the button, your little flap is going to flick up, you plug it in, it takes two seconds, it recognizes your account with the software, and then it charges. So you don't have to worry about like you do at a gas station, putting out, pulling out your credit card or, or anything no, like that. No, mm -mm. that's already yeah. that information is going to be within the app. Okay, you I mean, know what's he's interesting? Got, he's you know what's interesting is that I was uh, I was watching a video. There's a there's another YouTuber I watch named Potato Jet. He does okay. uh, photo he does photo and videos, mostly video stuff. But um, but he was talking about uh, you know, yes, he, he also has a a um a vlog channel that he started earlier this year. And he was he's he has a Tesla. He's done some things on Tesla. He said, I guess that so many people have bought Teslas through his I don't know. I guess I don't know if they have some sort of affiliate program or something, but they have bought Teslas through his thing that I guess they give you um, that for every time somebody does something, they, they give you like, uh, I don't know, a thousand miles of, su of supercharging. Whatever. Anyway, mm -hmm. he was mid he was saying he has so many miles that he does not think he'll ever need to. <laughs> That he'll ever need to uh, to ever pay for miles. The dude has a lot of subscribers. He's got, I think, one of his channels has like seven hundred and some thousand. His his vlog one is brand new, so I think it only has thirty. But the dude has a lot. He has a lot of. So I think, uh, you know, he. But he was saying he has so many miles from all this free, from all the free uh, miles they've given him from people going and buying the cars under his account or his his whatever it is they give him. So. But yeah, I wasn't. I was, I was just curious. I wasn't sure how the how the how the the charging, you know, how the payment went for charging with that. So that's how it works, man. And um, I do have a code. So if any of y'all watching this video decides y'all want to get a Tesla, use my code. But I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Back in the day, Tesla used to let people save up those codes, and you could put that money toward a new Tesla. They quit doing that because uh -huh. the model the Model Three exploded the marketplace. And now they do give you the um, charging miles. And um, I don't know what to say, man, because I've got um, not a super, super charger at my house, but I've got a fast charger at my house. And okay. it literally takes me about, if I'm on E, my car is done in four hours, if you know, from home. Right. And right. that's pretty fast. And literally about a mile up the road is a Tesla supercharging station by my house. So, <laughs> so, so I mean, I'm, I'm good with it, man, for a little while, but for and me, you go from e to full, it takes you what about, you said about 15 minutes. So the way it works, no, not about 15 minutes. It's going to take more like 30. The way okay. this technology works is Tesla, when they route you to go somewhere to get a charge, they never have you go to full. Because the clo the way the technology works is the closer you get to full, the longer it takes to charge. Mm. If it you, trickle charges after a certain point. Right, exactly. And then if you go to a supercharging station where it's full, they're going to limit you to 80% anyway. Okay. Um, and usually about when you hit about 80% is when it starts to slow down the speed of the charging. But from yeah. zero to 70, you're blazing. Zero to 70 in my car, because my battery is small, it usually takes at best 25 to 30 minutes, at best. Yeah. And usually what we do, they put those superchargers at malls, at shopping venues. It just gives you time to go walk around, stretch your legs, get some coffee, get some, uh, if you're not dieting like I am, go and get you some cookies, some donut, whatever you want to do. <laughs> you know, but I'm working on them cuts for the, well, <laughs> I'm, work, I'm working on being lean for the baby that'll be here in five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So you could, so if you were to, if you wanted to, you could just go hit up because you get free supercharging right now. So mm -hmm. you could go supercharge up to 70% or whatever, go home and throw the rest, throw it on your fast charger and let it trickle charge throughout the night to get just to top yourself off. If I needed to, but right. I, I don't, I don't, it's not something. When you first get a Tesla, you worry about all that stuff. And then quickly within a month, especially if you get the, the charger I got. So the charger that I got, just so you guys can have some context too. What I did was to get my fast charger. I called an electrician. I said, how much is it going to cost for you to put me this box that's about this big in the wall in my garage? 
And the attachment that you get from Tesla is only $35 to give you the fast charge. It's only oh, wow. $35. And what the electrician is putting in is basically like a plug for a washing machine. That's what okay. he's putting in. And when you buy that charger from Tesla and you plug it into your system, um, it, that one that gets you, like, like I said, you can be fully charged in my car in five hours. And hmm. That's usually all I need. I don't have. I never go to the supercharger unless I'm way out of town somewhere. Never have right. to go. Never okay. have to. Go. Yeah, it's 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 definitely a value for those of you that are in the market to get a new car, and right. it's definitely something that once you get it, you might start liking to drive again. You might just be looking for reasons to get out in the car and drive. <laughs> the, way right. we was, the way we was when we was children, and we wanted a go kart. Because we just right. thought it was going to give us freedom. Tesla really makes you feel like you're driving something futuristic. And it makes you want to go drive. Every time you get in there, this is a line I used to tell my women back in the day. And I hope my wife ain't listening to none of this. <laughs> every, time, every time you get in it, it's like the first time. <laughs> every time. Every time. Oh, you, get, you're, 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 you don't even need me. You're getting yourself in all kinds of trouble at night. Yeah. Hey man, I got to make up for T Streams not being here, man. <laughs> I got to help you out, brother. I got to help you out. Plus, I'm gonna make this an individual video, and when you need to get this, when you need to sell this to your wife about this being an asset, this is something you could use on your taxes. Blah blah blah. You know, your boy got you. I got you. <laughs> I, I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> 